just want to say, Pyrus, come over here close. I need someone who will sing with me. Nice. How are you doing? How do we do that? Everybody go back there. I need someone who will sing with me. Well, Bob and Chris, obviously we're here today to talk a lot about what you guys do. But first off, I wanted to know, Tell me a little bit about your ministry in the past. My name is Bob Perrin. I started in youth ministry a little over 25 years ago as a parish youth minister. And um, after a while began having people ask me to come into their diocese to speak at conferences and, and um, you know, quite a few confirmation retreats. My name is Chris Paget, and uh, I've been doing full-time ministry for a little over 15 years. First through uh, a band, Scarecrow and Timmon, and, um, and then kind of on my own doing keynotes and solo parish missions, things like that. And um, it continued to grow. I've been blessed to be at the last um, seven National Catholic Youth Conferences as a uh, presenter on um, the concurrent session stages, which has uh, been a blessing. Um, written a couple books and uh, I've done a lot of the Federation Youth Ministry events and World Youth Days around the, around the world. I'm married and have eight kids and uh, just love doing what I do, reaching people with the love of Christ. Um, I'm now a diocesan director and I run a camp in Iowa, the best Catholic youth camp probably anywhere. Um, it's called the St. Thomas More Center and Catholic Youth Camp. Love, um, love what I do, love ministry, and um, have been asked to do several parish missions all over the country. And I really find a lot of passion in that because um, you know, I, I'm married, that's my, my vocation. I have five children, and um, growing healthy, holy families is an incredibly important thing to me. Obviously, you both have some great stories. Why did you decide to go into this together as opposed to doing it alone? I think one of the reasons that I wanted to spend some time doing parish mission work with Bob Perrin is because something crazy happened a number of years ago when I came out to CYC in Iowa, the best camp probably in the United States of America, maybe the world. Uh, but we just clicked, and not only did we click uh, just on a friendship basis, but when we started to collaborate uh, with ministry ideas, things that I, I thought were, were great all of a sudden just became exponentially better. And uh, we just fed off of each other, we sharpened each other, and I think, for me, um, some of the most dynamic things that have happened in ministry have been happening out here at this camp. And so uh, when we talked about doing a parish mission together, it was just like, how could this uh, how could this not happen? It was just kind of like God brought us together to do it. You know, and so many times I've been to parish missions and I and I watch the presenter and and I and I'm just like, wow, that person is so awesome, and I never could be them. Um, I think one of the things that we bring is we're both fairly dysfunctional. I mean, and we have normal dysfunctional, loving, caring families. And um, one of the cool things. And, and one of the cool things is that we both come from such different backgrounds in terms of what family um, looked like. And um, I think so that gives us the opportunity to really reach a broad audience. Um, people can find themselves somewhere in our stories. I think. Absolutely. Now there are a lot of other parish missions out there. What makes yours different and sort of unique from the others? do offer is the ability to re relate with the average Joe and Jane in the pew, the, the one that's exhausted and, uh, you know, this family that has like a thousand obligations and responsibilities throughout the week, you know, they're, they're playing mom and dad taxi and, I mean, that's our world, we get that. And so what we've made this commitment to do is when we ask people to come out to a parish mission, we want to give them actual tangible resources that they can use to basically unpack, you know, a growing spirituality in the day-to-day -day family experience. And I think that's one of the difficulties with traditional parish missions is that sometimes there's a disconnect from everyday real life that most parishioners experience and um, kind of this spirituality that's almost unreachable and and we just want people to know that God is ready to do something dynamic in their life individually and in their life uh, collectively with their families. You know, it may seem like an obvious question but why should a parish consider you guys? You know we we realize that so many families are broken and they're hurting, there's an emptiness that, that only Christ can fill. And we see that and live that um, in our lives with our families. We know we have everyday struggles, just like every family. Um, and yet, we find a way to make Christ the center of what we do. And that's really what we want 
to, um, to share with, with other families. So the parish missions that we offer um, are really focused more on, on the entire church family. You know, grandma and grandpa are going to hear stories that they will relate to from when they were raising their kids and thank the Lord that they no longer have to deal with some of the issues and struggles. Young families will come and they're welcome to come. We want them to bring their children because if we don't have chaos and noise, um, we, we, we seriously think there's something wrong. That's right. You know, so we want this to be a family experience. A lot of times parishes will connect it with their religious education programs so and invite the entire parish to come through that. Yeah, one other thought is that, you know, both Bob and I travel around. We do a lot of diocesan rallies, and these are wonderful and amazing, and thank God for them. Uh, but one of the, the frustrations is to know that some of these kids who've been so impacted by Christ, they go back into their family situation and scenario that is very difficult. Um, and there's a disconnect between the fire that's in that youth and kind of that mediocrity or, or struggle with everyday stuff at home. And one reason why we like doing the parish missions is to see that family get re rejuvenated together. Sorry. And I always ask this at the end of interviews, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yes, actually there, um, you know, there is one last thing, I guess. Um, I would just like to say, don't just hire us for our obvious good looks, because there is much more to us. Someone who will sing with I need Someone who will sing with me Say, Iris, I'm over here close.